Coming up on Dispatch tonight, your layout photos, the question of the week, and a big shout out, starting right now. Good evening. You're watching Dispatch, the weekly show for model railroaders. I'm Roy Smith. I'd like to welcome you who are here in this studio audience and you out there on YouTube. I'm glad you could join me tonight. We've got a great show lined up for you, so don't go away. We'll be right back after this brief message. On this channel, we share the world's greatest hobby with you in Dispatch every Tuesday night and layout updates every Saturday morning right here. Don't miss out. Be sure to subscribe. Okay. As I said, we have your layout photos, the question of the week, and a big shout out on Dispatch tonight. First up, your layout photos. Many of you posted photos of your layouts this week in a Facebook group called the N-Scale Union Pacific Evanston Subdivision Group. As always, I have brought your photos over here to Dispatch to share with everyone during the show. And here they are. After the show, be sure to go over to the Facebook group, join the group, and post a photo of your layout there. I will put a link down below that will take you to the group. You will know you're at the right place when you see this photo of Echo Canyon on my layout. Next up on tonight's show, the question of the week. And this week's question is, why do you think model railroading is the world's greatest hobby? What is it about the hobby that makes it so wonderful? I want you to know that I really enjoyed reading your responses to this question, and it's a pleasure to summarize them right here on Dispatch tonight. Here's what you said in your responses. You said, one, model railroading allows you to use your imagination and creativity in order to bring something to life. Two, it evokes childhood memories of toy trains and real trains. Three, it allows you to learn and to use a multitude of skills such as designing, woodworking, electronics, artistry, and photography, just to name a few. 
Four, it's a hobby with lots of action. Things move around, unlike other static hobbies. You get to move model trains around just like real trains. Five, it allows you to escape from the harsh realities of life into a miniature world where you control what happens. Six, regardless of your time, money, space, and skill level, there are many ways to enjoy the hobby. Many interesting things to choose from and something for everyone. And seven, you said the community is the main reason that model railroading is the world's greatest hobby. You get to know people in the hobby online and even to meet and spend time with them in person. You have a chance to visit many club and home layouts. Even family members and friends can join you in the layout room. Other model railroaders absolutely love to share the hobby with you. I asked this same question way back in August 2017 in a video appropriately called, Why is Model Railroading the World's Greatest Hobby? In that video, I talked about childhood memories, creativity, and the community. I'd like to take you back with me to see just a bit of the video. I apologize for the quality of the video, but what I had to say in it is just as true today as it was back then. Here we go. You already know that model railroading is the world's greatest hobby, but why is it the world's greatest hobby? Why do we love our trains so much and why do we build our layouts with such passion? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Roy Smith. Welcome to my layout. I've been thinking a model railroading can be expensive and it can be frustrating. So I ask myself, why do I do it? And why am I so passionate about doing it? I think there are at least three explanations for our fascination with model railroading. And these three explanations are childhood memories, creativity, and social interaction. I hope you will go back and watch the rest of that video. I will put a link to it down below. Okay, we have a question for the coming week, and here it is. What is the biggest problem on your layout, and what are you doing to fix it? For example, is it derailments, dead track, faulty turnouts, mismatched couplers, scrambled wiring, or something else? Please post your responses to this question in the comments section down below. Because many of us may be having the same problem and your response may help us fix the problem on our layouts. I will share your responses in dispatch next week. Again, the question for the coming week is, what is the biggest problem on your layout and what are you doing to fix it? And now it's time for tonight's big shout out. And tonight's big shout out goes to Chris and his HO scale go via or go home channel. On Chris's layout, you will see Canadian trains such as Go Transit, Via Rail, Ontario Northland, Canadian National and Canadian Pacific running. And on his channel, you will see layout updates, op sessions, mail calls, kit builds, product reviews, how-tos, and run-bys. I contacted Chris and he told me that he's been working hard on his layout and his videos. He loves the hobby and the model railroad community. Chris's layout is really impressive, but don't just take my word for it. You need to go over and see it for yourself. And that's what we're going to do right now. All right, I am Go Veer Go Home, and I'd like to welcome you back to my channel for another one of my channel layout updates. Uh, this is number 22. Number 22. Uh, uh, there has been some significant changes here to the layout uh, in the past couple of weeks or so. Uh, so I'll take you through it just like I do in uh, 
normal fashion. Anyways, so yeah, I've got uh, quite a bit done and uh, I really wanna do more scenery. Uh, and the backdrop is really that push that I needed to kind of bring things to life, you know? Cause when you look at it now, it just, it looks more <laughs> like a train layout, you know? I don't think I'll ever really be finished, but I want it to be at a place where I can be like, okay, I, I don't have to do work on it to make it work, you know, to make it look more realistic. I can just run trains and we'll take a couple more last looks here at everything, just so you can kind of see how everything looks now. And I'll give you a shot of the entire back there. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Go VR, go home. Okay, you've seen a bit of Chris's layout right here on Dispatch tonight. Now be sure to go over to his channel to see the rest of it. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, be sure to do that too. I will put a link to his channel down below. Chris, my friend, I want you to know how much I like your layout and your videos. Thanks for sharing the hobby with the rest of us. Now, if you still haven't seen my layout update for last Saturday, I urge you to go over and watch it after Dispatch ends tonight. It's called Evanston Renovation 9, Selecting Structures for a Model Railroad. In it, we get back to work on the renovation at Evanston and we select the structures that we will use on this part of my layout. I will put a link down below that will take you directly to it. Be sure to join me again for my next layout update this coming Saturday, and of course, next Tuesday night for Dispatch. I'd like to thank all of you in this studio audience for being here tonight. That's right, coffee and donuts uh, in the social area downstairs right after the show. And to all of you out there on YouTube, thank you for letting me share the world's greatest hobby with you. Remember, there are tons of other videos for you to watch right here on this channel. In fact, you can go directly to two of them just by clicking over here. Well, it's always a pleasure to hang out with you model railroaders here on Dispatch. I'm Roy Smith. Until next time, happy railroading.